Okay, so hi everyone. So we're from group seven and we're going to talking about elements of research design. So my name is Diana Tania with last three digit of NPM is 029 and I'm with my friends Tiara Rizky Cahya with last three digit of NPM is 140. Next slide. Okay, first is the research design. So a research design is a blueprint or plan for the collection, measurement, and analysis of data created to answer your research questions. The various issues involved in the research design are issues relating to decisions regarding the research strategy, the extent to which the study is manipulated and controlled by the researchers, location, level at which the data will be analyzed, and the temporal aspect are integral to research design. So the next one is the element of research design. The first one is research strategies. And the next one is extent of researcher interference with study. The next one is study setting, contrived and non-contrived. The next one is unit of analysis, consists of individuals, diets, groups, organization, and also culture. And the last one is time horizon. So this is consists of cross-sectional versus longitudinal studies. So next is research strategies. So there is the first one, experiments. So experiments often linked with a hypothetical deductive approach and to investigate causal relations between variables. So the second one is survey research. So survey represent a means of acquiring insight into individual's knowledge, attitudes, and behaviors. So and the third one is ethnography. Um, good in anthropology involves closely observing and immersing oneself in the daily life of a particular culture or social group. Next is case studies. Uh, entail the collection of information about a specific entity, event, or activity. Grounded theory is systematic approach aimed at developing a theory derived from the data itself. And the last one is action research. So attempts to lead by consultants six to investigate organizational change processes. Next slide. The next one is mixed methods. So mixed method research is designed to tackle inquiries that traditional qualitative or quantitative methodologies alone cannot sufficiently address. It involves the integration of both quantitative and qualitative data within a single study or across multiple studies. This approach has gained traction in business research due to its versatility. By blending inductive and deductive reasoning, research can employ multiple methods to tackle a research problem and leveraging diverse data sets. Next is triangulation. So there are four. The first one is meta triangulations involves employing multiple methods for data collection and analysis. The second one is data triangulation entails gathering data from various sources or at different points in time. The third one is resources triangulations. It involves having multiple resources involved in data collections or analysis. And the last one is theory triangulations. Utilize multiple theories or perspectives to interpret and explain the data. The next one is threats of and compromise. The preceding discussion has addressed fundamental aspects of research design, encompassing considerations such as research strategy, research involvement, study setting, unit of analysis, and time frame. The researcher's decision is designing a study that guided by a factor including their own research perspective, objective, questions, and desired rigor, and also practical constraints. This trade off between scientific rigor and practicality are conscious decisions made by the researcher or manager, which must be transparently disclosed in the research report. Such compromise also contributes to the knowledge that management studies are not purely scientific and the force, as discussed previously. Next is manager's implications. So understanding research design issues equips managers with insights into the objectives and methodologies pursued by researchers. This comprehension enables managers to interpret reports 
Even when data analytic results are based on small sample sizes, despite extensive data collections efforts involving numerous individuals, such as in studies encompassing various groups or branches. A true understanding of the intricate cases of research design improvements managers to select the most effective study design period to the nature and magnitude of the encountered problem and the desired solution. So for the conclusion is by organizing the research activity into a cohesive strategy that describes how all the important components of the study collaborate to answer the research question. A strong research design protect the researcher from becoming frustrated. When the first section of a research project is precisely specified as a statement of aims and reason, the likelihood of success increases. Following this, it will be simpler to identify and arrange the sequential action required for creating a research plan and then carrying out the research activity successfully. A research study search, research design should be chosen based on the nature of the investigation, not a random or without a good cause. Yeah, and that's it from our group. Thank you.